Hello again, welcome to the midnight vlogs which is actually probably filmed around midnight time this time. I had the opportunity to go, I want to talk about a few events that I had gone to, but really only one, there's only one really one that I want to talk about and that is Revo. Revo is like the UK version of um, the anime fighting game scene, although I do apologise that I look at it unkempt, it, eh, I feel it's unkempt anyway and I'm only drawing attention to it so that I move on with this vlog. Anyway, I went to a, a thing called Revo UK 2017. Uh, a few weeks ago and this is actually the first time I actually got to like talk about it because in between doing video editing and trying to keep up with games that are about um, I don't really get a chance to just talk about stuff so uh, I thought while I'm bored and while I'm doing nothing um, while I'm procrastinating from doing other things uh, I thought I would actually try to vlog about what had happened so I originally went down there to observe I went down there to learn more about how majors work and how um, how how majors work how they are set up what's the what's the type of people you're kind of expecting what's the logistics that sort of scenario mm -hmm. um, and what I had decided to do was I was originally going to go down to observe and just let that's basically my entire point uh, and then I started meeting more and more of the people that were getting involved and the biggest problem with me has always been that when you work events for as much as I have you can't help but help out you can't help but think I can I know what they're going through and I know how to improve it I can do it very really quickly and a lot of the situations kind of end up being that I just go to an event and I just pretty much help out whether I intend to or not um, it's just one of them things I just gotten accustomed to anyway so I got the chance to work at uh, no go to a event called Revo which is like the competitive event in the UK it, the idea of it, it's called Revo called I think it's like revolution is what it's called um, very similar to how America's got evolution but definitely not as big and definitely not as well known but it's definitely worth going to if you ever have a opportunity to go and um, the two tournaments I decided to join into was Tekken and Pokken tournament both very similar games in the sense that they were you know they're called similar things one's called Pokken tournament the X and the other one's called Tekken tournament 7 um, technically it's just called Tekken 7 what am I talking about anyway um, so I joined in both those tournaments and I had the opportunity to play and to be honest I realized I I don't have the competitive bug but I enjoy joining in I like it when I have the opportunity to join in something where I know people will understand I'm not the most knowledgeable of the game but I kind of went in with the pretense of let's see if my if my dumb gameplay works and kind of did for Tekken I actually got to in so in there was more pools in um, Tekken than there were in Pokken but the way they handled Pokken um, was they had uh, they split up everyone evenly into pools and then everyone you know depending on who you were you kind of got buys or whatever so you could get seated now I kind of last minute did the entire thing I did not have a controller and luckily the people who were there who were there were kind enough to um, lend me a controller um, and I was lucky when it came to pocket that there were spares available for me to use at least the ones I were aware of anyway so I was um, so I started off with Pokken so it's a f three day event starts off on a Friday Saturday and then the Sunday Friday is pools for Pokken uh, and Saturday would be top eights for Pokken Tekken was pools for Saturday and Sunday was top eight um, and to be fair on the Friday Saturday I was hanging out with a lot with the Pokken crew um, you know with the the UK guys the European guys the some of the American dudes um, uh, now to be fair I was kind of there to observe like I'm not really there primarily to compete but I had the opportunity to compete and so I did um, I beat uh, I beat someone in my first round I was playing as Brakeson I had not played the game since uh, Wii U uh, version of Pokken tournament and I was just happy that I won my first match I was that was pretty much the only thing I was really happy about um, there will be a video of, like on a different channel where when that comes out, but I just wanted to vlog the experience a little bit. And the idea of 
so what, I'd ha what I had the opportunity to do with, in Pokémon that I played breaks and beat my first round and then I got bodied the next two. It took someone, f uh, so the way I kind of played it off is, it took someone from North America, or at least someone with a North American, dis uh, an American player to take me out of the tournament and kind of proves, yeah, I I'm really good at the UK. And yeah, you know, as you do. Um, and I got to see that sort of follow through all the way up until the end. And what I want to get at here with the Pokémon guys is that they... The Re Revo crew did a really good job of organizing the entire event and kind of talking about the entire event and making that point kind of uh, like making that point kind of clear. Like they did a really good job of thing, especially especially as with the amount of people that they were dealing with on the day. Now it's a five pound entry which I paid in, uh, and then that goes to what that goes towards a bonus pot at the end of the at the end of the entire tournament. And then the second part of the tournament was the second tournament I joined in was Tekken, and uh, in the Tekken tournament I didn't join in for top eights like I didn't go all the way I didn't watch all the way in but the what happened was in my first round I got bodied um, I was playing uh, I played as Heihachi the first time and then I played I went back to Law Law is a character I've been playing since Tekken three whereas Heihachi I kind of picked up at Tekken five and his move sets kind of changed every game whereas Law's hasn't so I kind of just kept with Law at that point. Uh, I played as Law, and um, I got bodied. In, so I got bodied in my first game with Heiachi. Then I won my second game, second round, second game again in the first set with Law, and lost again in my third. And mostly it's because of controls and button setups, because I didn't know that the controls had been changed. Like Tekken players are a bit weird, where they play, um, they use the the top ones. I play default. I use my R1 is my panic button, which is how you use rage in that game or rage arts. Whereas uh, the uh, in Tekken, a lot of professional players, or at least a lot more major players, played against um, played with the button top buttons used for something. Use it like using uh, particular grapple setups or double punches, whatever. And I kind of find like eh. It's a bit annoying, but as you do, you know, whatever. And but what I was happy about is in that first game was I managed to get an unblockable off. So to me, I kind of won the moral victory in that game. But that's because I pulled it off, and nobody thought I. Uh, I didn't think I could. I don't think anybody thought I was going to be able to. And then uh, the set. Uh, then I got sent into losers, and that's where things got interesting. Uh, I got sent into losers, and then immediately I started winning rounds. I started winning games. Uh, it was a Law vs. Paul the first time. Uh, I won that game luckily. And luckily, I was, to be fair, I was very hesitant on winning because if I. Like, I, I was not being a very good sportsman, to be fair, I don't think I was anyway. Where the other players kind of like forgot certain moves. Like, I feel like if I tell them certain moves, they're going to win. And I didn't want that, so I decided against it. Um, and then uh, the second round, uh, second game. Uh, who did I play against? I'm not sure who I played against. I'm not sure. I think I got a bye at that point. That was the round I got. So I won my first game in losers. I lost my set. I got a bye in the second one. I won my third game in losers, I think. And uh, if I remember correctly. So basically, I got into top six in the losers side, which is actually quite a, quite a feat for me because I did not think I was going to last as long as anyone else had. Everyone else had brought their controller, they had come to play, whereas I came to observe primarily. And um, then I got bodied by a local Manchester player where it was a law versus law setup. And the thing was, it came to last game and I could have taken him. The only thing was I just didn't know how to get past this sort of powerful kick move where it had a bit of a wind up. I just didn't know how to get past it. So all it proved to me was that yes, my, my fundamentals are there, I just need to improve upon them. And that is kind of the reason why I wanted to talk about it because that was the experience I had. And I think if anybody thinks like that way, it's like, yeah, I kind of think I'm good at the game, but I really want to know what I'm like against actual people who are good at it. You know, you know, throw throw your stuff against the wall and see what sticks. Sort of scenario. I recommend going for it just for that experience. And you get to meet more people who have the game and have an understanding of what you went through and have an understanding of what you uh, had a uh, um, had an understanding of what you had a chance to play so uh, had an understanding of what you play sorry and that's 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 more to say like how Revo and the type of people that kind of turned up were very forthcoming they were very helpful they were they were, like the person who like I was lucky that someone let me their control it happened to be someone who was my neighbor in the in the hostel we were staying at and um, shout out to that guy he was really cool um, and 
Yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to really add to this except for if you ever have a chance to go to Revo or you ever hear about your Revo next year, uh, I definitely recommend giving it a go. This year we had Pokken, we had MVCI, we had uh, Arcana Hearts, we had Gundam Versus, you know, games that we didn't think were actually going to be like actual tournaments, but they ran it, they ran it as tournaments. Uh, MVCI, they had, um, what was the other one? Uh, Arcana Hearts, Guilty Gear, Tekken. They had, uh, there's one more that I'm missing. And then they had like a bunch of like little games as well, where a lot of some people, we had uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z like just available to play. Uh, that was actually the first time I played it as well, which is another thing I could talk about. Um, I had the opportunity to play Dragon Ball Z Fighters. I actually got to play it a bit more at another event, but I was enjoying what I had the chance to play. But once, I, once I kind of understood how to play it. Um, that's near here and there, there. My entire point to this conversation on to this vlog is they say, go to uh, Revo UK 20, uh, 2018 if that comes on. I hope that they do do it next year. Um, I I definitely recommend going down for the community. I definitely recommend like if people if you want a game to be there, it's best to recommend to suggest it and see if they'll let you in. I mean they're they're primarily a niche fighting uh, thing. They try to have an emphasis towards that. Uh, you know, so for example, outside your Street Fighters, essentially, uh, but anything like Tekken, anything like uh, MCI, and anything towards Pokémon Tournament DX, which was actually the only game that was uh, had a tournament on Switch. Um, yeah, I recommend going. And if you are a fighting game enthusiast, or you just want to meet more people in the scene, you want to learn a bit more about how to play the game, like what to think about, or if you just want to just hang out with people, you can go as a spectator as well. Uh, go down to that as, to, as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little random ranty kind of vlog. I do apologize that I don't uh, update lot more enough, but I want to try and talk about these when and if I can, and if I can have uh, more time to talk about it. But in either case, if you do enjoy it, like whatever, I don't care. In either case, comment, just say which games you want to see, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.